The only thing Brucey thinks is good looking is himself in the mirror. Thanks. Sorry, man. Well, that one's my favorite. Oh. With the war over, residents of Liberty City returned to amusing themselves by binge drinking, swimming with their clothes on, and watching magic shows where people would search for a tiny man hidden in a woman's nether regions. Liberty City has always been full of massive cunts, after all. Uh, for once, I agree. And the city began work on a new project for its leisure class. A place of orgies and depravity, drug addiction and perversity, anxiety and sweat. The Liberty City Subway. Nothing unified residents of a city more than being squashed into one another on a subway train as they rushed from one important appointment at the hat makers to another at the witch burning. It's disgusting. Disgusting. People mixing together like some great cosmopolitan clusterfuck. Preserve differences? My leg is going numb just thinking about it. Liberty City went crazy for underground trains. The first station opened in 1874 and was inaugurated by throwing buckets of urine on the platforms. People loved it, although there was nowhere to go, as the first train did not get built for another five years. So they had to wait in the station for a very long time. So with this and the Broker Bridge, people were free to live in the suburbs and realize the joys of commuting. Apathy, alienation, shitty radio morning shows, and car key parties. And they were allowed to live amongst their own kind in the suburbs and feel safe. Even then, bridge and tunnel was a dirty word, just like flange. Ooh, has somebody, anybody seen my medication for my angina? I mean you, boy. What's your name? Excuse me? Oh, be quiet. I didn't mean nothing by it. Come on, get over yourself. Hey, I can laugh at myself. What's wrong with you people? Seriously, I have angina. I could die of a heart attack any second. Where's my medication? I'll bet you stole it just to get high. Say what? Are you hillbilly? Uh, with that, the island of Algonquin was free to grow into the capital of a massive metropolis to expand beyond its borders. 
So what did they do? They built massive skyscrapers and looked down on the other boroughs, of course. Is there a doctor in there? Boy, get me a doctor, please. Ah! <laughs> Ignorant cracker. Uh, just like today, it was a city of birth and death, of decay and renewal, of double-headers and double-enders. Finally, Liberty City was beginning to take its modern form. Overcrowded, smelly, but impressive and grandiose. Full of rich, unhappy people and poor, greedy people. All living cheek by jowl, like swine in a pen. But the city wasn't out of the woods yet. Soon, something would be invented that would change cities forever. Which we'll leave for next time on A History of Liberty. They're back, and they're front, two bimbos. Yeah. Four massive breasts, yeah. two tiny brains, conjoined twins, season two. What happens when one finds religion and the other finds work? Get out with no funny business. You're making a mistake. We're paying protection money to Kenny Petrovic. Open up the back. You got any flat screens? This is a big screw-up. Motherfucker! Shoot someone else! cheat on my husband when he's at work. The Trackify homing tracking beacon can send instant location updates to your phone, so you know if your wife is at a rest area, taking it in the can from a stranger. Trackify's innovative... Avenue, yes? Hey, okay, yet problem. I've left the van, will you say? How's Roman? He's okay. A little scar, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. Also means avocado. Did you know that? Roman, are you all right? I was just shot in the stomach and then stitched up in the doctor's office that was dirtier than the basement we were nearly tortured in. I'm great. You sound calm, actually. That Dimitri guy gave me some painkillers. I'm kind of out of it. If you're near a shop, can you pick up some adult diapers for me? See you later, Nico. 
I'm in a rush. You in hurry, eh?